In this video, I explain working principles of hydroelectric power plant. So, what is the meaning of hydro? Hydro means water. Means by using the water, we produce the electricity. It is called as the hydroelectric power plant. So, we know that water flowing under a pressure has two form of energy. One is kinetic and second one is the potential energy. Kinetic energy is due to the velocity of water and potential energy is due to the height of waters. Second point, the water turbine or hydraulic turbine is a device which convert kinetic and potential energy of waters into mechanical energy. Means in a turbine, we supply the water and water have the kinetic energy and the potential energy. And this kinetic and potential energy is converted into mechanical energy of the turbine. Means when this water is strike to these turbine blades, the blade are start to rotate. Means it's called as the mechanical energy. And the shaft of the turbine is coupled to a generator. Generator is produce the electric power. Means in a generator we supply mechanical energy and it is converted into a electrical energy. The power plant designed it to produce electric power from water flowing continuously under a pressure are known as the hydroelectric power plants. Means hydroelectric power plant is a power plant designed it to produce electric power by using the water it is called as the hydroelectric power plants. In a hydro power plant the water is collected across the rivers by constructing a dam. Okay, so in a rivers from where the water is coming, in a river water is coming due to the rain. Okay. And on the flow of river we construct the one dam. Okay, so dam is constructed, then the flow of water is stopped and the water is stored in a dam. Then the stored water is supplied to the turbine by using the one pipe and this pipe is called as the penstock. Penstock is connected the dam and the turbine and this penstock means this pipe is supplied the water from dam to the turbine and at the end of the penstock or at the end of the pipe we install the one nozzles okay so functions of the nozzle is convert the pressure energy into the kinetic energy okay so water coming out from this nozzle at a high velocity strike on the blade mounted on the wheel so here you see these are the various turbine blades. On these turbine blades, the high velocity water is strike. So, so when this water is strike at the higher velocity means it have high kinetic energy. Okay, so this kinetic energy of the water is converted into a mechanical energy. The mechanical energy developed by the turbine is used to run electrical generators. Okay, so here these generators are directly coupled with the shaft of the turbine. So in a generator, this mechanical energy is converted into a electrical energy. Now, so this is the basic working. But what is the equations of the power developed by the turbine? Okay, so power developed by the turbine is denoted as the P and the P is equal to rho G Q H. Rho means density, G means gravitational force. Q is the quantity of waters and H is equal to head of waters. Now, what is this meaning of head? Head means it is the height difference from the water level in a dam to the turbine. Okay, it is called as the head. So, from the above equation, what we conclude? The output energy from the plant is directly proportional to the head and the quantity of water means here the power is directly proportional to four factors but these rho and g are generally constants okay so we are able to only vary these two parameters q and h okay so h is depends on the rainy season how amount of the water is stored on the dam okay means if the more water is stored in a dam that means the h is increased and if the h is increased then the power available at the turbine is increased and the q is the quantity means how amount of the water is supplied to this turbine okay so this is the equations of the power developed by the turbine means if more height is there more q is there then the more power is produced hence h and q are equally important in the generations of power so here we understand 
the working principles and the equations of power available at the turbine so if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering or a ap subjects okay for the power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist